Hi guys, John Bailey here, Gemstone Artist and founder of the Fastening Academy. We're continuing some tool review series with some more lap reviews, some more of these very interesting newer technology resin bonded diamond laps. And like the previous video, uh, this one is um, a, a lap made in the United States. This is a an Ed Perry Hyper Edge 3000 pre-polishing lap and we have it right next door to a dreamer lap made in Taiwan also a 3000 pre-polishing lap so what we're gonna do is put these uh, against the same stones that we were working with in our last video we cut some more facets on those finish them all up uh, to the the point we're gonna do our testing anyway <laughs> on the uh, the Dreamer 800, so we're going to hit a surface that's the same all the way around. And we're just going to take a, a couple of facets and pre-polish with our uh, Hyper Edge 3000, and we're going to take a couple of facets and pre-polish with our Dreamer 3000 and see what kind of results we're getting. Here's our surface check of our pre-polish with these two laps. This facet was pre-polished on the uh, Hyper Edge 3000. It has uh, cat hairs, pretty typical of a 3000 pre-polish. And we also want to remember that this is the direction across this piece of synthetic corundum <clears throat> that tended to want to uh, orange peel. So this is the troublesome direction on this stone. And we have a really good pre-polish here. It'll be it'll be very quick to get from this to a full polish. And the next facet over the center on this side, this was polished on the Dreamer lap and it has a very, very similar surface. And we alternated. So the next facet was a hyper edge. Looks like a scratch there that's a little more than we'd prefer. This is another facet pre-polished on the Dreamer. It was a very respectable finish. We'll be able to move very quickly from that to a full polish. And another one on the Hyper Edge. Again, very clean. And finally, another facet polished on the pre polished on the Dreamer. Also, going to move very quickly, very easily to a full polish. For the next test of our pre polished laps, we've set up an Oregon Sunstone with cutting on the Dreamer 800. So we've left a pretty coarse, pretty quick set of cuts, just roughly cut down near to where our brake facets need to be. And we're going to do some test pre-polishing. Here's our pre-polish test on our Oregon Sunstone. On the left of these two end facets is the Hyper Edge 3000. And to its right is the Dreamer 3000 pre-polished lab. So these surfaces are pretty similar. One of the things that's very clear is that the Hyper Edge facet is flatter, and that's because the Dreamer is a bit domed. So we want to have to use a narrow band of that dreamer to avoid this doming effect, this rounding effect on the facet. The hyper edge being nice and flat provides that super crispy flat surface. The next facet to the left is again the dreamer 3000. And again we can see it's a pretty decent finish it's going to be easy, very easy to polish from here. Uh, there's a few irregularities, but again, we can see that it's a slight bit rounded compared to the facet here on the right that we pre-polished using the Hyper Edge. It's an obviously flatter facet. On the other end, we have the same arrangement. Same organization of facets with this prominent facet right here being the hyper edge. There's a little irregularity here in the finish from the Dreamer. 
it might be close to a cleavage on that facet so that's not too wonderful a finish right there and we can get that to a polish but this the damage that's apparent there is going to be a little bit of a problem it's probably going to move some meats around to get that out and once again this left hand facet is a dreamer and the far right hand is the hyper edge and it's adjacent to that one that the dreamer left some damage on. In this case we can see the damage traveling right across the facet junction right there and when we see that we know that we're close to a cleavage because these are two different laps. The right hand facet, the larger one, right here, that facet was cut pre-polished on the hyper edge and the one to its left on the dreamer and we can see this damage traveling right across the facet junction. When you have something that's con that's that consistent, that's a crystal feature and it means we may have some issues in polishing that. Of course these facets are going to be moved, completely recut, but that's something to pay attention to. We're going to now test the Hyper Edge 8000 pre-polish, and we're going to put these facets on the 8000. We don't have any Dreamer company analog to that, so this is going to be a Hyper Edge only, but we're going to give that a, a test and see what we come up with. Here we've uh, applied the Hyper Edge 8000 pre polish lap to the same facets on our Oregon Sunstone that we prepped with the 3000 pre polish just to see what kind of surface we're going to leave. We might notice uh, these facets are really flat, quite glassy, very consistent. We're going to move these very rapidly to a polish if we were indeed finishing this piece. Again, this is just using this stone for a test at this point. The two facets on the right are where both 3000 laps left an undesirable finish in the last test. Again, this is probably due to nearby cleavage. Notice the 8000 has cleaned this up. This is why we should keep multiple types and grits of pre-polish laps in our kit so we can step around these effects when we encounter them. We could certainly move quickly from this to a full polish. A couple of swipes and we'd have a full polish. Let's test our 8000 on our corundum. Here's our test of our 8000 Hyper Edge pre-polish lap on our synthetic corundum and we don't have an analog of this from our other company so we pre-polished all of these facets on the Hyper Edge 8000 and we can see that they're all very flat very uniform finish very glassy this is practically a polish it's going to be ridiculously fast to go from this to a full polish if this were the pre-polish that we were using. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos reviewing Resintech laps. To make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell. Then visit us at the Faceting Academy website, where content like the rest of this series is organized and easy to find, along with the opportunity to become a site member and get access to private content like faceting diagrams and presentations not available to the public. And if you're ready to get started or to make rapid progress in your own faceting, reserve a seat in one of our exclusive live training events. I'll see you there.